Hey, what's going on guys? JQ with Tech Creation. So in my last tech bag video, I was using the Ghost Tech NRG backpack. Now, unfortunately it didn't withstand the test of time. Now don't get me wrong, the built-in battery was pretty cool. However, this bag is very cheaply made and it fell apart in no time. I didn't even carry anything too crazy in this besides a laptop, which is what it's meant for. And I've had cheaper $10 bags that last longer with a heavier load. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with this bag despite all the praise it's gotten. And I can no longer recommend it to you guys, but anyway, out with the old and in with the new. So this is a Tiger New Co-Pack. Now they have a ton of lightweight tech friendly bags available. And this one takes on a water resistant anti-theft approach. And it's easily one of the cleanest designs that I've ever seen. It almost has this futuristic vibe going on. And I'm really feeling this gray and black combo. It just looks absolutely sexy and it matches my style to the T. Now the material feels nice to the touch and since it's water repellent, a little bit of rain should be fine. This thick nylon material is what makes this quote unquote slash proof, making it a little bit harder to break into. So as I mentioned, it's designed with anti-theft in mind, which explains why there's no pockets or zippers exposed. What looks like zippers on the back are actually reflectors, which helps with visibility at nighttime for let's say hiking or riding bike and such. Now on those comfy padded shoulder straps, you have an elastic band in case you wanna strap on one of your accessories to it, like let's say sunglasses for example, or whatever deems necessary. You also have bubble foam padding on the lower back portion that feels like pillows melting into your back. I mean, the comfort level here is beyond satisfactory. Now, if you look pretty closely, you'll find a zipper that's sunk in there pretty good because it's also a pocket. And this is where I personally like to store backup smartphones like my Nexus 6P. You never know when extra phones will come in handy, but as my daily driver, I'm still using the Note 7. I also like to toss my frequently used charging cables inside here. So your pockets and access are hidden behind these flaps. You have a hidden privacy pocket where I personally like to toss my business cards in, but I mean, you can put whatever you like in it, honestly. And to the left, we have a hidden headphone port to route your favorite pair of wired headphones from the inside of the bag, which thumbs up for that iPhone 7 users pay no mind to this feature. And of course, this is where you'll find your main zippers, which boast a shiny chromey look to it that I'm actually quite fond of. Now unzipping the bag, you'll find that it opens a full 180 degrees and it's designed to fit a 17 inch laptop like nothing. I mean, the sheer volume in this bag is really ridiculous. Incredible cubic space. It fits all the stuff that I need with plenty of room for more. And let's start with the large pocket. So in this pocket, I keep my 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina sleeping and I don't always carry this, but when I do, that's where she goes. I mean, I love this machine. She hasn't let me down yet. And this is my main laptop slash desktop. And on the smaller pocket just below it, I like to keep my tablet of choice, which happens to be the Google Pixel C. And this is easily the best design underrated tablets out there in my opinion. It matches my taste. It has a beautiful screen. And I just love using this for media consumption, period. And the detachable magnetic keyboard feature is pretty sick. So unbuckling the secure harness inside is where I keep my Sony XB950 extra bass headphones in case I'm in the mood to bump some DJ Khaled on the go. They're great for commuting and hella comfortable. And tucked behind that is what looks to be a part of the bag, but it's actually that grid that I showed you guys before. I keep a bevy of fast chargers around, three of them being Qualcomm quick chargers and one of them being a rapid charger for my Nexus 6P, along with a Qualcomm quick charging power bank by RAV Power. I also keep a USB Type-C OTG adapter from Satachi, as well as this unique mini power bank that you might want to check out. I'll drop a link down below. Now to the left of that is that famous Hydra water bottle that you guys went bananas over in my back to school tech video. Now I usually like to toss some fresh water in here for on the go and the included 4000 milliamp hour power bank is always welcome and it's almost just too convenient to not pack. I mean you're killing three birds with one stone so why the heck not. Now in the pocket above, I still keep that two terabyte Transcend USB 3.0 hard drive. And then of course we have the handy Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter for my MacBook Pro. That is a must for traveling. And lastly, I like to keep the ever so handy GoPro Hero 4 around just in case I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. Speaking of, I cannot wait to get my hands on the GoPro Karma drone soon. So be sure to check out that video as well. So yeah, besides the necessary cables and chargers that I keep in the bag for charging up the devices, that's basically just as simple as it gets. Be sure to check out the rest of the bags that they have to offer by clicking that link down below in the description in case you happen to be interested. And no, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Just a personal purchase of mine that I'm overly satisfied with. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and show some love to that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for some awesome tech videos. I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for watching 
and I will see you in the next video. Peace.